let me just say a couple of words about Ralph Hallenstein before I go into the more formal presentation. Uh, Ralph has been a very inspiring figure for us at the Hallenstein Center, indeed for us in this community. And a couple of things about him that you may not know, uh, but, but one thing that uh, I always like to tell audiences is that, you know, um, when he was awarded uh, two years ago by the Grand Rapids Economic Club, he was given the Slyke House Award, and that was the event at which uh, Bono came to. And it was so cool because after the, or, uh, but before the ceremony proper, they're backstage, and, you know, Bono's gotten so much attention, deservedly so, for all of his work in Africa. And so Bono started asking questions of Ralph, well, what do you do? What have you done? And, of course, once Ralph was able to talk about all the things he's done, both here in West Michigan and then internationally as a philanthropist, Bono stopped everything and he said, well, I know who the cool cat here is. <laughs> it's, it's Ralph outside. And then he got up on stage in front of 2,500 people. He said, Ralph is the cool cat here tonight. So that was really neat. The second thing that I like to tell people about Ralph Hallenstein is that you know so many founding benefactors will write a check, found an institute, and then they walk away from it. You never see them again. And that's perfectly fine. They're entitled to do that. Ralph is somebody who at age 96 remains active. He's one of our best students. He comes to the programs at the Hallenstein Center. He actually uh, talks to all of the students who come in the Leadership Academy. And he makes himself a part of the discussions in such a valuable way because, uh, you know, as Fred just indicated, he has rich experience and it's been a wonderful relationship that we've had with our founding benefactors, somebody who's involved with the Leadership Academy and actually through demonstrating his own uh, involvement sets a great example for these students who come through Grand Valley's Leadership Academy. So we're very proud and I, I'm just always honored uh, by this association with Ralph.